Signs in three, two, one, go. Welcome to playoff match four. The first 50 seconds, as usual, is completely autonomous. Robots are being pre-programmed by their students. Everything you've run, they've already set into motion. Team 292 having left their community and returning to their charge station. Can score 13 points for their team. 1024 are doing the same for their alliance. The scores are pretty tight so far, but that can change throughout the entirety of the match. 1024 quickly snatching one cube and placing it into the top part of their grid, scoring five points for their alliance so they can successfully complete that. 1720, small but nimble. They're quickly moving around the field to cause defense and havoc for their Blue Alliance counterparts. 3176, that's Purple Precision, quickly maneuvering across the field from their loading area where they can interact with their human player to already placing a cone on the top part of their grid for five points for their alliance, unfortunately knocking off in the process. 6956, always lovely in their green LEDs, scoring a cone in the center of their grid, scoring three points for their alliance. It's back and forth match already. The score is 54 to 32 with a minute and a half remaining in the match. Lots of bumper, bumper action over there in their loading area. They have to be careful of what zone they're in. Those are protected during most of the match play. So only red robots could be in both the red community and the red loading zone. And same for the blue alliance. They have to be careful of who they're touching and where to make sure they don't gain additional tech fouls. 17 careful of being very patient and important paying attention to that contact rule. Cones being returned to the field of play if they are tossed out. 3147 making use of their human player station and that slide to pick up an extra cube, getting defense on by 1720, slowing down their ability cycle and quickly place objects. Although they aren't worried too much about ranking points, you still can get game points for making links about five each. Remember, a link is three places, three game pieces horizontally in the grid, looking for groups of three. As we enter end game here, they have 30 seconds before the match ends. We'll start seeing teams making their way over to their charge station. They want to make sure those are in a level configuration to score as many teams for their point. 10 points for every robot touching it on the level configuration, and six if it's on level. They have 13 seconds to make their final decision. The Blue Alliance currently in the lead, although they are our sixth alliance. The Red Alliance is sitting pretty, waiting for the match to end. The Blue Alliance taking their time, trying to make it level. They seem to be successful. That was the end of our playoffs match four. Here are your scores for playoff match four. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance is your sixth alliance. They'll advance and continue to be in the upper ground. Okay, we'll next see them in match eight. The Red Alliance, who lost the Blue Alliance, is not out quite yet. We'll next see them in match six in the lower bracket.